be testing the most expensive side-by-side -side I can find with the cheapest side-by-side -side I can find. And like all good scientific experiments, we need a control group, which is going to be the newly rebuilt, never tested Seth the Rock Bouncer. My master fixer upper guy, fellow YouTuber, best friend, best friend, regular friend, Jason from Rebuild Rescue. All right, let's get at it. And of course, like all good competitions, this one's gonna start with a drag race. Hey, Craig. Yeah. 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 Even though this is a one way race, I think I'm gonna laugh you somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing it. Jason, I don't know what you're like, you're kind of terrible. <laughs> Hopefully uh, nothing breaks and I don't run you both over. On your mark. Get set. Go. Craig, how far back were you on that one? Uh, pretty far. Yeah, yeah I was pretty, pretty far, far back. back. I was I was pretty far back. It's good though. <laughs> Brad and I are getting along good. It does donuts spectacularly. <laughs> I'm actually surprised at how close they are for how different they are. You know, yeah. so I mean that's the challenge definitely definitely faster. I mean it it hooks up and goes. Well, we paid for this. We could buy uh, like yeah, almost twenty of those. That's hard to beat. Yeah, but what we have into this, you can buy one of them. That's because we're idiots. <laughs> we keep on rebuilding it for some stupid reason. If you guys don't remember, look at what we put that thing through in the past year. Oh snap, we should break something. Do we have a paddle? Ah, no! I can't believe it's running. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is, let's go find a hill climb. Awesome, let's go. We're traveling at Famous Riding Outdoors, we took the buggies to go find the gnarliest hill climbs that we could find. So on our way to find the perfect hill, we did a couple warm-up climbs. Make it up. I'm so confident I'm gonna do it in two wheel drive. I do the next count. I'm still letting this thing break in. It currently has nine miles on it. On your mark, get set. See if we can get a little bit of retribution. That thing is so mean. That thing's so intimidating looking. I think Brad and I got this. This is all about line choice and staying in the throttle. keeps coming down and then like always stops right here. You don't need to see anything. Uh, are we gonna have a jumping contest now or? So upon further investigation, we found out that there was a pretty bad bushing uh, broken inside the, uh, the front end of the rock bouncer. But you know, Jason's driving it, so uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So we decided to go on to the next competition. So if you have a side-by-side, -side, you're gonna be drifting it. If you're gonna be drifting it, you better drift it well or you might flip over. So we're gonna have a drifting challenge. We're gonna use these cones right here. 
Each person gets three chances to do a fig grade around the cone, and the person who's closest to the cone without knocking it over, that's the winner. Who wants to go first? I, I think I'm gonna go first because I think that gives me the loosest gravel to spin around. So I think that's oh. an advantage. Oh. Set the bar. I'm still a little lost of exactly what we're doing, but I'll figure it out. These guys are all wearing like ski gloves. I'm wearing my 508s. My hands feel fine. Until about 40 degrees, these things start, uh, they're not they're not warm enough, but 40 or up, they're great. All right, let's see if we can do this without flipping. We need to prepare to get uh, covered in stone. Guard your eyes, my friend. be fun. Safety squints. Automatic DQ because I kissed the cone. I don't know what do you say. I don't know if it's automatic because we might do the same. You knocked oh. one over, you hit the other one. Now, if there was probably ever a chance today that we were one of us was gonna roll one of these, it'd be me or Craig. He's got the widest one. I think I think your wheelbase is like 72 inches wide. It's insane. Wow. Yeah, this is actually perfect for doing donuts. It's that that was made for doing donuts. It's called the donut bouncer. The thing people don't know is I was put on this earth to do one thing. That's drift. Hey. The foot keeps on flipping. Yeah, he's gonna flip. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he's actually killing it! Oh! 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 Two wheels! You are on two wheels! I was. It was it amazing? It you was up. That was pretty darn good. You were on as many wheels as cones you knocked over. Was I? Yeah. Yeah, your first your first circuit through there, they were tight, good, and smooth. I mean, what, I, I what, think what you happened nailed over it. here was my foot slipped. I'm using like my toe, my, my toe's barely on it, so now I use my whole foot on it. All right, Craig, get it done. Right. If we'll anyone's do it. gonna flip it, it's Craig. Ah. I'm bringing handkerchiefs back. You gotta save your snot. Mm -hmm. Dude, that lands in your beard. You don't want your DNA all over the place. Maybe I wasn't built for drifting. Maybe my whole life's been a lie. You think it's gonna blow up before or after the, the thing? After it rolls, I think. It might blow up after it rolls. Hey, Craig, turn your stupid <laughs> light off. You're not pressing anyone with your light. Turn your light off. What? There you go. Why do I wanna turn my light off? It looks so cool. Now I'm gonna lose. There we go. Oh! oh! <laughs> Help! You all right? Yeah. I'm keeping my arms in. All right. One, two. Yeah. No, that's not happening. Oh, get out quickly. Ignition on. Yes. Yep. Yes. I'm trying. Okay, why don't you help yeah, us got, flip got, it got, up? Got. You out? Yeah. Watch your hip. Gas is everywhere. Did I win? <laughs> well, you know, um, do I get to go again? Didn't pop, did it? Nice. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what we could score you for uh, cone, but I think your dismount was one of the best I've ever seen. This is the one that got me. It was this one right here. Yep. There we go. I think his problem was that he was full throttle the whole time. Those tires, I'm telling you, like they just, they do grip. Yeah. I got footage of me flipping one of those. Those things are dangerous. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was gonna say, if he was, if he flipped again, oh, if he flips again, I'm not. <laughs> he's gonna have to flip up himself. If he flips again, I'm not helping him. <laughs> so my plan is to send Craig to the hairiest mud pits that we can find to try to see if we can get Brad stuck. This ends up being significantly harder than I thought. Craig, is this your gas cap? I don't know. It yeah, looks like it. Did you not put your? <laughs> Probably not. Is this why this is? Is this? Is this gasoline? Is your whole thing just coated <laughs> in gasoline? Coated, coated in gasoline. Now this is water, but I do smell gas. That makes everything more. It's it's always more exciting when most of the stuff is covered in gasoline. Yeah, I like to live on the edge. And this is a Polaris, right? Oh yeah. They're known for catching on fire. Nah, no, no Polaris has ever caught on fire. We have no idea how deep these mud holes are, do we? Let's get a, someone get a stick. How about I just drive through one? Yeah, I like that. that that's a good idea. Hey, he's doing it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's deep enough. That's not deep enough. It no. wasn't over his tires. It's not deep enough. What about the next one, though? What about the next one? Let's look. No, no, not even close. I have a feeling this one on the right here. I have a feeling that's a little bit deeper right there. So. Hey, hey, Craig, come back here on the right side. <laughs> it gets a little deep in the middle. That's not bad though. We need to find a bigger mud hole. Oh, that's just some it's thick a mud right there. That's some good stuff. Hey, Craig, you got this. Come over here. It's easier for us to send Craig through it. If he gets through it, then we know we could have gotten through it. You got this, Craig. We need to find something deeper. Yeah, much deeper. That way. We need to go that way. We might as well go through these mud puddles too. Dan, zoom in on that waterfall. It's awesome. All right, we gotta keep on rolling. Trying to find a mud pit that uh, it really hits our limits. This stuff's too easy. It's hard not to be impressed with Brad. Yeah, I know, right? That was amazing. Yeah. The way I'm feeling about Brad right now, I could go like steal that rock ledge. <laughs> In the waterfall. In the waterfall. Yeah, all that muddy water right up around the back, right down the back of my chest. Yeah, those, uh, those seats are not made for uh, water drainage. No. Got me. Oh! <laughs> it's too far away. I'm soaked. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys remember, this is the hole that ate the Ural. Oh my god. Did it just die? It's also the hole that broke Brad last winter when it had tracks on it. Snap the track right here. This hole is deceptive, it takes a lot of victims. I'll go first. Let's do it. Alright, so my strategy is I'm gonna try to go real fast. You know, you know he just made that deeper, right? It was definitely more than I thought it was going to be. I want to do it in two-wheel drive. Nobody, right? Nobody's more optimistic about, about Brad than I am. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make it. I don't think he's going to be able to make it in two-wheel drive. I think he's going to bottom out. But if he gets enough speed, though, he might have a chance. I'm in two-wheel drive. Um, I'm just I'm going to see what happens. That's amazing. He did it slow too. It's easy for him. Brad is amazing. That's what $1,200 side by side plus probably another $10,000 rebuilding every single piece on it does, it looks like. <laughs> you can't stop it. You can't stop Brad. Hey, what if we go through it this way? Oh! <laughs> 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 Did we get Brad? 
stack. Come on, Craig, stop messing around. Stop fooling around, Craig. My tires aren't touching in the front. Stuck. Oh, man. Hey, Craig, do, do, you gotta do the thing. Do the thing? Yeah. What thing? <laughs> I gotta make a phone call. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Well, so I got a call. Some idiot in a RZR is stuck off on the uh, the outer rim. It just so happens. I got my trusty recovery, bro. I got you, Craig. I got your phone call. If my helmet didn't flip down and I could have stayed on it, I would have made it. I don't think so. You don't think so? Which way are we yanking? I think we're gonna have to go backwards, go right? Back. We can go forward. Why not forward? You'd have to try to pull through there. Yeah, that's all soupy. That's like the swap. How are we hooking these things? Do we have? I don't know. Did you bring the hook things? You don't have hooks on your thing? Can you take like one end and run it through the other? Well, yeah, on one side. Just tie a knot. Not. Are you trying to keep this clean? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite recovery rope. I want to keep it nice. Hey, they're only like five or six hundred bucks. Just get another okay. one. Position. I bet these are really nice though once they break in. It'll reach, but we need a hook. What about this? What, we loop around this. My front bar on's like this. Let me turn around. You know, if somebody sits on my bumper, it'll just pull out. I, I could drive out. Yeah, but I didn't bring my bikini. We'll fit around that thing up front. Oh, nice catch. Oh, it was made for this. That'll work. Get some tautness. That's not how this one works. This is a kinetic strap. I yank it. Yeah, but you don't want this in the water, so am I gonna, are you just yanking it out or am I gonna sit back in it and steer or what? When it starts getting tied, I'm just letting go. <laughs> What's your game plan here, Craig? When you start backing up, I'm gonna let go. All right, just let go. You're gonna flip oh, no, it over. I got it. It's I, gonna flip over. I think it's, it's hooked a little too high. Yeah. See you, Dan? <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> hey, your rope's clean. <laughs> Coming in. Oh. No! Might have to wash your strap. I don't know if that's going to work. If you go easy and I back up, it'll pop out. Now, that's snug right there. Go go easy. All if right, you get all too right. hard and it flips over, I'm going to be upset. All right. I'm going to surprise Craig and go real hard. Hey, Craig, why'd you put it so high up on your buggy? I didn't feel like bending over any further. Oh, so if it flips over, it's your fault? I don't really think about it, but I assume these things had like hooks somewhere on them, like trucks do. They don't. Hey, Greg, just leave it on there. Just wrap it up on the back. Big thanks to our boys over there at Matt's Off Road Recovery. So we got the strap from. Thanks, Matt. All right, so we got one of the baddest hills here, and if you notice, it's just covered in Jeep Wrangler parts. There's like, actually, is that four fenders up there? Yeah, it's a couple inners and an outer or two. Look, look at this. Wrangler fender, inner and outer fender. <laughs> and then we got all those parts, the two more inners. This hill was made for the rock bouncer. And Jason's crazy enough to try it. I think we're gonna get up it. You got this, Jason. All right, let's do it. Hey, if I come rolling down the hill. I'm trying to dive underneath you, like yeah. in the movie. Yeah. It's like, well, if I come rolling down the hill, make sure everybody's, everybody's split. While we're having all this fun, I'm reminded by one of my favorite verses, Matthew 5, 16. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. That rock mountain of screams confidence. Making that look easy so far. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. Stay on, stay on, stay on. There we go. Good job. It's gonna roll. Greg, let's grab the tow rope and go around. Watch out. We're coming, Jason! <laughs> I 
I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I'm going back the other way. That's it. That's all we got. All right, we got to go grab the uh, the strap. I'll go get it. Hey, brother. How you holding up there, Jake? If I take my foot off the brake, it's gonna it's gonna roll down the hill. Though. Just don't light a match because it's dripping a lot of gas in here. Is it? See if there's any clevises in the uh, ammo boxes in the back of Brad. What the heck's a clevis? Like a uh, half circle with a pin through it. I should just bring Brad up behind him and just push him push up. Push him up. <laughs> that thing starts rolling back. I'm not sure if I can get out of the way fast enough. Bring her up, Craig. All right, now let me get her started up. Look how close it is. If it didn't have those high ARs, it wouldn't have fit. Oh, <laughs> Woo! Craig, do you want to go next or should I go next? Uh, I can go. Two wheel drive. Man, I'll tell you there for a little bit. When I first stopped and I was hitting the gas and the whole front end was picking up, thought for sure I was going down backwards. Many Jeeps have died on that hill. That was, that was fairly impressive. We did it, All Jason. Right. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now are you guys best friends? Best friends? All right, so for our next challenge, we're gonna race from the top of this mountain the whole way over to the top of that mountain. First one that gets there wins. I think that's probably, that's probably pretty obvious. But <laughs> is that how the race works? That's how race works. Shut up, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Three, and it got a little sketch and I felt my rear tire come up. <laughs> I can't believe you beat me. I thought for sure I won. You're even smoking. Man, I hit a lot of water. Yeah, I totally lost. So the toughest thing about going down somewhere where there's no trail, can't go fast because you don't know what's there. Like literally there could have been like a crevice or a cave or something. Yeah, a cave in <laughs> <Hit> a bear. <laughs> So I, I think something that I realized was that side-by-side -side is not really a competition sport. It's more of a team sport, and you all got to get to where you want to go. But, I mean, in the end, which one was the winner? I don't know. I, th I, think, I think I lost. I, I think I lost. I, I think we all won. I think Brad was the winner. Yeah, I think so. For, 12, for 1200 bucks, it's not, nuts, it's not that different of condition. Ball joints, crummier tires, worn-out shocks. Um, it's not that different than when we bought it. I just replaced every moving part on it. Except everything's been replaced. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Brad's the winner. Thanks for watching. Check out Jason's channel. Rebuild Rescue. Come watch, thank you guys. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, later. <laughs>